everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a quick tip video tutorial on the GeoVision GVAS Manager software. Today's video, I will show you how you can create a customizable user field. So if you want to be able to track certain data associated with your employees or residents of a community, this video will be useful for you. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please subscribe to the channel and also give the video a thumbs up to help with spreading the word about the channel and these videos. So again, for today's video, I would like to talk about how you can create custom user fields so you can track certain pieces of information about your users. For example, if you would like to set up, say, a parking lot that a user has access to, or you would like to set up, say, any field that we don't already have within the um, user list. So if you go in here and you click on, say, new user, and you click the home tab or the business tab, and you see all these fields that are in here, but there is not the specific piece of information that you would like to be able to track and search by, you can actually create a custom user-defined field where you can then type in that information. So I wanna take a step back here and just show everyone how I got into this section. So when you're in the home screen of AS Manager, you can go up to personnel and go to users. And once you have the user window come up here, you can click on user-defined. And as you can see here, there are 10 user-defined fields that you can choose from and you can give a title to. So as you see, we already have a few that we have customized, one called parking lot, one called area, one called SSN. Let's create another one here and maybe we call it garage. So maybe we have certain people that have access to garage one and certain people that have access to garage two, those kinds of things. And you want to be able to then later search by just that garage number. So first you would create the name of the user defined field on this page and then hit okay. And where that is going to come into play is when you come in and create a new user right here with the new button, you can now go up to user define and you can see that it has now placed that name of that header that you just created right there. And this will allow you now to say, okay, I want to type in maybe garage one for this user. And let's just put in just my name. So where now after you've created that user, it's going to put them in the garage one group. And now if you go in and do a search, you'll have that as one of the fields that you can search by. So let me just demonstrate that. The searching is usually done within the AS web program. So whenever you pull up AS Web, you can go right here to access log and you can full screen this menu. Over here on the left in the search columns, you can scroll down and you have those user defined fields right here that you can search by. You can see the one we created garage is right there. And if you click the drop down, I can now select garage one, which I assigned to my name. So anyone that was assigned to garage one, if you want to see activity associated with that, you can click it and hit search, and then you'll get your results. This has been a quick tip of how to create custom user-defined fields within the GeoVision AS Manager software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.